I'm at the house at 105 Legacy Way in the Legacy Ranch subdivision in Lavernia, Texas. Going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. This neighborhood is southeast of San Antonio. Um, some of the neighbors here do commute to Brooks City Base, uh, Lackland Air Force Base, and Randolph. It's also close to the oil fields. All the lots here are very large. In particular, this house is roughly one and a quarter acres. You see that minivan park there? That is the second driveway that's part of the same house that leads up to the RV parking. So I'm going to zoom in off of the house so you can see the double gates there. There we go. Right there is the double gates. That is the entry to the backyard so you can park your RV back there or your boat. And I zoom, zoom back a little bit, you can see how far away that, that, uh, that driveway is, but it's still part of the same house. There we go. We got a lot of nice landscaping in the front here. We got lots of mature trees. Uh, yard maintenance is included in the rent. We also have a built-in basketball hoop that's bolted into uh, concrete. This is a very quiet neighborhood. Hardly any car, cars are driving by uh, throughout the few hours I've been here. So it's very quiet. Let's take a look here. It's going to take a little while to get to the front of the house, but we're going to walk this long driveway. Extended driveway, you can have lots of guests parking here. It's also on the end of this driveway is where the two car garage is with separate, uh, door, separate garage doors. I'm going to pause here as we walk up to show all the nice landscaping we have here. Lots of natural shade. And then here we have the basketball hoop. You can already see a satellite dish mounted on the roof. Here is a two car garage. It is an uh, extended garage. It is uh, quite big, so you can also do put some storage in there. Also, before I head into the house, I'm going to show a little bit of uh, the backyard from the fence area here. Lots of trees back there. Lots of beautiful plants and uh, trees. So we walk up to the front. This house is custom built uh, with stone and brick exterior. It is a five bedroom, two and a half bath, single story. It's hard to find a single story over 2,000 square feet. They typically build them as a two story once you get over 2,000 square feet. But this is roughly 2,666 square feet. Nice uh, porch there, you can sit there and relax. In the entry, we got tile. There is tile throughout the house, except one bedroom that has laminate. There is no carpet anywhere in the home. So that's perfect for people who suffer from allergies or if you want low maintenance floors, if you have pets or small kids. Got nice uh, stone accents here on the uh, pillar. Ceiling fans throughout the house, nice recessed lighting. Very tall ceilings. The uh, ceilings range from 12 feet to 16 feet. Uh, let me just lay out the, give you a layout here. To the left, we're going to have two bedrooms. We're going to have a fifth bedroom, optional office, the masters. Uh, in the middle of the house, we have the living room, the dining room, eat-in area, kitchen. And to the right of the house, we have three additional bedrooms. So we'll start here in the uh, living room. We've got a mock fireplace. Nice lighting. Here is the formal dining. This is where it goes 16 feet up. Lots of uh, windows and lighting. 
nice big tiles. Before we proceed through there, let's head over to the uh, bedrooms. So left, the front of the house, we have the fifth bedroom or optional office. This is a good sized room. Also has um, your cable and phone hookups. And a good size closet. This is roughly five feet and by five feet. So if you don't need a fifth bedroom, this would be perfect location for the office because right next to it is the masters. Got a half bath here, which is great for your guests. Here we have the masters. Ceiling fan, pop-up ceiling. You could uh, definitely fit a king-size bed and have room for some dressers or nightstands on either side and then dressers in the other parts of the room. Have a lot of uh, different connections here for uh, internet, cable, phone. Also the central, let me show you this face plate. That is for central vacuuming throughout the house. You plug in your holes and the vacuum unit is in the garage. Here is a master bathroom. We got separate vanities, a separate um, stand-up shower. Let me get over here. Uh, we got a nice deep jacuzzi tub, which is perfect for relaxing after a, a stressful day. You got your commode. Here is one sink and a little bit further view of the um, standard shower. It is not, it's, it's bigger than a square, so it's, it's deeper than uh, your typical standard shower, which gives you more room, more, more space there. And then you also have another vanity. We got a nice walk-in closet. This is uh, about six feet by five feet. So it's bigger. Actually, it's more like 10 feet, 10 or 12 feet by uh, five or six feet across. This is a deep, deep um, walk-in. You get lots of hanging space. So this is a good size. All right, so we're gonna head over to the middle of the house, which will contain the, uh, again, the living room and the kitchen. Lots of windows for natural lighting. We're gonna head over here off of the living room. We got the eat-in area. So you could put a, um, a good size table could still fit here. Use this as your second eating area. And then you have a nice stone, um, stone exterior there for the breakfast bar. If you notice the counters, they're uh, Korean counters, but they st extend out from uh, the wall, so you can definitely fit some uh, bar stools there, make that a second eating area, or additional eating area. We got a nice um, brick again, front there for the cooking area, it's gas stove. Let's head around the front here. All the appliances you see here are stained. The stainless steel fridge, you got the gas cooking. We got the dishwasher, the oven, and the built-in microwave. Those are Whirlpool Gold appliances. So very nice appliances. Got the kitchen island. Again, the Corian countertops throughout the kitchen. This is very nice. You got little spice racks on either side of the gas uh, stove. You got your five burners, which is perfect for, for people who like to do a lot of cooking. And your vent hood. Got lots of cabinet space, a lot of counter space. Nice deep sinks. You got a pantry here. Lots of shelving. Let me just back up here so you get a better view of the overall kitchen. So there's the oven on the bottom and the built-in microwave on top. So when you're entertaining, you can definitely be part of the action here, interacting with people. You're not cut off from everybody, so it is an open floor plan.
All right, so we're gonna head off to the right side of the house, which is gonna have the three other bedrooms. Uh, one more thing I wanna show with the central vacuuming. At the bottom there, that is a little uh, lever you can sweep things into. You just put your foot on there and it sucks it right up. Just close that and it turns off. So that's great. In addition to the normal um, hose hookup, if you just want to sweep things into that opening there, you don't even have to hook up the, the hose. Give you a view here of the whole space. All right. On the right here, we got the garage. Again, this is a oversized garage. There is the central vacuuming unit that's uh, connected throughout the house. We've got two car garage with separate garage door openers. And you can see that window there is popped out from the side, so it's actually quite spacious. You shouldn't have any problems with you uh, hitting your door on the, on the car next to you when you park two cars in there. It should be very spacious there. All right, so this, uh, this is the uh, third bedroom. Actually, I'll call this number two. The, the fifth bathroom is in the front. The masters I call number one. So this would be number two. Bedroom number two. Um, it's got the laminate floors, ceiling fan. On the side here, we got a nice size utility room. It has the uh, built-in sink, washer and dryer hookups, and lots of uh, cabinet space. And you're not cramped, it's not like a little corridor. So you actually have room to move around in here. Got a linen closet there. We'll start on the right. This is be bedroom number three. This is one of the bigger bedrooms. It's got a nice size, uh, again, about a six by five foot walk-in closet, ceiling fan. This is a full bath. You have a dual sinks, commode, shower and uh, shower and tub combination. And this would be your fourth bedroom. I'm going to show you the closet to give you an example of what I'm talking about. It's roughly four feet by six feet. It's quite uh, Quite a good size for secondary bedrooms to have that much space. All right, so that is the inside. We're going to head out to the backyard. We got uh, two different entries to the back patio. We've got a nice, roughly 30 feet long by 10 feet uh, covered patio. So you have a lot of room here for entertaining. Got some good shade in the backyard. Double ceiling fans. Now that storage structure is only for the owner's use. But in front of that structure, you can see this is the yard area that would be uh, where you drive up on when you went up that secondary driveway. Let me just... Lots of nice sized trees in this yard. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see that uh, there is the double gate that we talked about that leads to the backyard. So you have a huge area here to park an RV and or a boat. A nice big tree here. Now this is roughly, this tree has got to be over 200 years old according to the uh, uh, studies they did when they purchased the home. So huge tree very old a lot of history lots of nice landscaping out here and then we have this uh, storage shed which is for use by uh, tenants it's roughly 8 by 12 feet so you got a good amount of storage back here you have lots of area to walk around in nice big yard back here I'm going to show you the uh, little bit back here of the back patio. 
So this is a great house, custom, lots of space, quiet neighborhood. If you'd like more information about this home or like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.